हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू बाजीरा वाई एस अकेडमी इंटरव्यू गाइडेंस प्रोग्राम 2023 सो वी हैव बीन डिस्कसिंग द करंट इश्यूज व्हिच आर इन न्यूज व्हिच आर रिलेवेंट फॉर यूपीएससी इंटरव्यू 2023 एज वेल एज द मेंस एग्जामिनेशन सो वन सच टॉपिक व्हिच इज very important very significant for the examination point of view is india china relations now in recent past we have been enjoying a conflictual relation so if you look at india's engagement with russia or india uh, uh, sorry india's engagement with china or india china relations so they are uh, very often confrontational and conflictual in nature so in recent past you have seen a series of issues for example the border dispute between india and china whether it is doklam issue or whether it is line of actual control in ladakh region and frequent chinese incursions into the indian side uh, uh, you know uh, the galwan clashes between india indian forces and the uh, chinese forces so apart from that uh, india has a huge a trade deficit with respect to china and that is also a key concerning issue for china, uh, for india because there were demands from different sections uh, within the domestic politics that we must reduce the trade deficit the huge trade deficit with uh, china so now china is the second largest trading partner with india so therefore such a huge def- uh, huge trade deficit will work uh, in uh, will work as a disadvantage for india so apart from that there are also issues like uh, chinese uh, growing influence in the indian ocean region as well as chinese growing presence in our neighborhood whether it is nepal bangladesh pakistan and even maldives sri lanka right so apart from that the military aggression of china is also a cause of concern for india so you know over a period of time because of all these issues india china relations have been uh, facing one of the toughest times so in this context we will be understanding about uh, what is the current uh, you know what is the current situation of india china relations and uh, what are the major issues between these two countries so that led to a confrontational and conflictual relations and what will be its impact on the regional stability and we will also understand the way forward as well okay so firstly uh, if you look at india china relations so there were uh, recent developments uh, uh, you know india china relations so they have raised con- concerns with respect to the possibility of a future conflict between these two nations so these two nations are known as the asian giants okay so because of this reason there is a chance that uh, the conflict uh, will further you know further aggravate uh, over a period of time so uh, there was a war strategy called sanju's philosophy of winning the war without fighting okay so according to this philosophy uh, china believes that they can win the war without actually fighting okay so now what they have been doing they have been gradually increasing their presence in india's neighbors and they have started encircling india as well through the string of pearls policy they have started encircling india establishing the military presence across the different countries surrounding india so therefore they have been following this uh, strategy of sanju okay so In fact few experts have been arguing that China is actually preparing for war against India. Now if you look at the confrontationist attitude of China, Chinese uh, frequent military aggressions across our borders and even Chinese aggression in the Indian Ocean region uh, uh, because of these reasons experts have been uh, believing that China has actually preparing for war. So uh, India China strained relationship Uh, there are series of events which have been revealing that india and china have a strained relationship okay so what are those events for example recent chinese provocations uh, including allocation of names to places in arunachal pradesh right so china is very often claiming that arunachal pradesh is part of uh, you know uh, is part of tibet southern tibet 
so therefore recently it had also renamed few places in arunachal pradesh so that certainly impact india china relations okay so india has also uh, responded strongly uh, to this renaming of places in arunachal pradesh okay so apart from that china has also denied visas to indian media personnel so china has denied a uh, visas for the indian media personnel and that is also uh, one of the issue between india and china and after that chinese president xi jinping very often giving a provocative statements with respect to people's liberation army and its preparation for the war so all these issues have been further uh, you know uh, escalating the situation further aggra- aggravating the ties between india and china so therefore in this context so these events the series of events that we have discussed so apart from these issues uh, earlier also there were several issues for example the galwan clashes the doklam uh, clashes between indian and chinese forces and the string of pearls policy where china has been started encircling india and china has been violating the sovereignty of india through china pakistan economic corridor which is part of the belt and road initiative so all those factors have uh, led to the uh, you know escalation of uh, the present situation between india and china okay so therefore these events have led to the concerns about china's intentions and need for india to be prepared for any eventualities okay so this has been suggesting that uh, you know india has been making preparations to meet the need for any eventualities okay so i hope you have uh, understood the background of this issue between india and china now in this context we need to understand the key factors which have been influencing the contemporary india china relationship okay so what are the major pa- factors which have been influencing india china relationship so firstly we need to talk about the border disputes and the territorial claims so china has the territorial claims over the arunachal pradesh so which is the sovereign part of india so however china has been claiming that arunachal pradesh is part of the southern tibet and this is where the dispute actually started between india and china okay so the unresolved border disputes there were unresolved border issues particularly uh, in the regions of aksai chin arunachal pradesh so they have led to the periodic tensions and military standoffs right so you know the doklam uh, clashes and the galwan uh, military clashes so all these factors have led to frequent border disputes and the territorial claims unreasonable territorial claims of china over the indian territory now after that we need to talk about the geopolitical rivalry and influence so the indo pacific so if you look at this uh, this image so this is the indo pacific region right so in the indo pacific region china has uh, rapidly increasing its influence its presence it it has been deploying the military vessels very often so therefore this is particularly a security concern for india because india is located in the indian ocean so therefore india's net security provider role and india's influence india's presence in the indian ocean region is being threatened by chinese presence okay so therefore we can say there is a geopolitical competition between india and china with respect to dominance over the indian ocean region okay so both india and china way for influence in the indo pacific region okay so indo pacific region is a region a vast region which consists of both indian ocean and the pacific ocean right so this is a geopolitical construct which has been emerging so uh, you know this indo pacific is very important for both india and china so they have been competing for the influence and dominance in the indo pacific region so therefore their competition for regional leadership access to markets control over sea uh, key sea lanes so have led to the cautious cooperation and strategic maneuvering impacting their overall relationship 
okay so this has been impacting their overall relationship with each other now if you look at this image so uh this yellow marked region is called as aksai chin so aksai chin is actually part of india however it is now occupied by china so the red line you see here is the line of actual control so this is undemarcated border between india and china okay so uh, on the eastern side you can also see arunachal pradesh on which china has unreasonable territorial claims and that is also a major cause of concern on the right side you can see a image where india has been started encircling china in response to china's string of pearls policy where india has been planned to expand its influence in mongolia japan vietnam uh, and changi island of singapore sabang island of indonesia assumption that is in seychelles uh, adakum port in oman and chabahar port in iran so this is also part of encircling the china in response to the uh, string of pearls so this is the india's response with respect to chinese uh, you know uh, encircling of india chinese strategy of encircling india now uh, in this context we need to understand the aspects okay so we need to understand the key dimensions or key factors uh, so the third factor is economic interdependence and trade now if you look at economic interdependence between india and china so china is in fact india's the second largest trading partner but india has a huge trade deficit with china that is a key problem now what does a trade deficit means so trade deficit generally means that so whatever uh, we are importing exceeds our exports so this is the simple definition of trade deficit so this could have a huge implications on india because we are depending on cheap imports from china and that certainly has a lot of impact on our domestic manufacturing so therefore this will also increase our reliance increase our dependence on china so that will be a geopolitical advantage so therefore in this context through policies like self reliant india atmanirbhar bharat make in india program india has started reducing its influence reducing its dependence on china okay so uh, you know the economic interdependence is huge between india and china and that is one positive factor in relations between both india and china so the economic ties actually form significant aspect of relation between both these countries so as i have already told you that china is india's second largest trading partner but if you look at the trade deficit and the concerns over market access for indian goods are actually uh you know a key challenges not not just the trade deficit even if india wanted to uh, export more goods to china so there is a limited market access for indian goods to china so that is also a key issue between these two countries now after that the economic interdependence between these two countries has been further expanded or further received a boost because of the few reasons okay uh, for example both india and china are members of shanghai cooperation organization and brics grouping so because of this reason the economic interdependence between these two countries has been further expanding at a rapid pace and there are also issues like infrastructure and connectivity projects now china has launched belt and road initiative we all know about that so the belt and road initiative has consisting of the maritime component as well as the territorial component so in fact china has been building china pakistan economic corridor uh through which has been passing through the pakistan occupied kashmir so therefore india has raised concerns with respect to the china pakistan economic corridor because it has been violating india's sovereignty so however uh you know india in fact opposing the belt and road initiative of 
China. So, however, China has not paid any heed to India's concerns with respect to China-Pakistan Economic Corridor and BRI. Now, India is not part of the Belt and Road Initiative. Okay, so the Belt and Road Initiative and China-Pakistan Economic Corridor will have a huge regional geo uh, huge implications for regional geopolitics and India's sovereignty as well as the regional stability as well. Okay, so after that we need to talk about the security and military posturing aspect as well, right? So what does it mean, uh, right? Uh, for example, the military posturing of China in the Indian Ocean. So we can see some of the aggressive moves of Chinese military, People's Liberation Army in the South China Sea, Indian Ocean. Recently, a spy ship has been spent, uh, sent and docked in Sri Lanka, Humber Dota port. So therefore, the security and the military posturing of China, particularly targeting India in the Indian Ocean and beyond Indian Ocean is a concern for India. So the modernization of China's military and its increasing naval presence in the Indian Ocean, coupled with India's strategic partnerships with US and other countries, and it adds a layer of security complexity. Now, India has partnered with like-minded nations like uh, US and uh, Japan in the region. So they have formed Quad. And so therefore, India's partnership with those like-minded countries to counter Chinese influence, Chinese dominance in the region, particularly in India's interest. Okay, so it generally aimed at increasing capacities of the regional countries against Chinese uh, influence and after that we need to talk about the divergent political systems and views between India and China this is also a factor which has led to the confrontational relationship between India and China now if you look at the political systems of both India and China India has a democratic system however China is not a democracy so China has a one party rule communist country. So therefore, in this context, what are the policies and how the government rules? What is their approach towards human rights violations? How they actually deal with the military issues, diplomatic issues between these two different countries? So they have been creating certain differences and disagreements. And this has also led to the frequent conflicts between India and China. And China has also uh, very often uh, supporting countries like Pakistan, which have been, uh, you know, uh, which have been the major supporters of cross-border terrorism. And in fact, uh, China shielding the terrorists from UN sanctions is a main cause of concern for India. Okay, so these are the main factors which uh, which are you know further deteriorating the ties between india and china so after that we need to talk about the impacts of contemporary india china relationship on regional stability so what will be the impact of uh, such relationship on regional stability so firstly we need to talk about the regional security concerns <laughs> so of course it could have regional security concerns or implications so because both the countries have a constant, uh, you know, a confrontationist relations, confrontationist ties. So they could have this spillover effect. Okay, so they could have the spillover effect and escalation of these con conflicts between these two countries will certainly have a destabilizing effect in the region and in the neighborhood. Okay, so, you know, in recent times, you can see a growing influence and presence of China in India's neighborhood. So despite India adopting a neighborhood first policy, it is not able to, uh, you know, maintain such friendly relations with few countries like Pakistan, Sri Lanka, and even Maldives. So all these factors are major cause of concern. And one of the reasons for the same is China. Okay, so after that, we need to talk about the aliens dynamics. Okay, so India China relationship has a huge implications for regional alliances and partnerships. 
for example uh, we have the sarc and uh, bimstick regional groupings and even the regional alliances like quad grouping and in fact the recent uh, nsa level meet was held and maldives was part of the nsa level meets uh, that is called as the colombo conclave but recently because of the regime change in maldives maldives was not part of the colombo uh, so uh, there was no delegation which participated in this colombo conclave so therefore certainly it will have a huge impact on uh, the relations between india and its neighbors okay so countries in the region often recalibrate their foreign policies now earlier Mal maldives used to have india first policy now they uh, they government the new government which is in power which actually came to power with the slogan uh, or which uh, with a theme india out so therefore a country's foreign policies uh, definitely change with the regional dynamics in response to the evolving dynamics between these two major powers and this potentially leading to shifts in alliances that could impact the overall stability okay so that will definitely impact the overall stability in the region so after that we need to talk about the maritime security and the territorial disputes as well okay so you know the territorial disputes between india and china uh, and apart from that india also have a huge uh, maritime disputes with number of countries with japan over senkaku islands with uh, vietnam philippines and uh, you know several other countries in the south china sea so therefore uh, this could have uh, this spillover effect and china will have will also have a lot of bilateral disputes with with, uh, with other countries so the competing maritime interests and territorial claims in south china sea and indian ocean will have uh, will potentially heighten the tensions and provoke instability in the region okay so it certainly provoke the instability in the region now apart from these factors we should also talk about the other major factors okay so what could be the other major factors uh, which uh, certainly influence the india china relations okay so after these factors uh, in recent times china has also been uh, uh, you know uh, ha having an attitude which is against you know uh, you know uh, anti india attitude that has been adopted by china in recent times okay so this attitude of china is not in the best interest of india so why it is not in the best interest of india so because it could uh, you know it could lead to the potential conflicts <coughs> potential conflicts not at the uh, you know territorial scale not at the territorial level but even at the uh, you know uh, uh, when india has been uh, forming uh, alliances uh, you know india will not form alliances military alliances but india is part of different groups okay so india is part of different uh, security groups okay so that certainly will have impact on uh, india's relations with uh, you know uh, other countries and india's relations with uh, the uh, china so in this context we need to talk about the way forward as well so what could be the way forward that we have to adopt so there they should be a dialogue and diplomacy between india and these countries okay so you know how can we prioritize dialogue and diplomacy so you know there should be a cons consistent and open channels of communication between india and china to prevent misunderstandings and mitigate the conflicts okay so there should be a proper channel for the communication between india and china so that regularly uh, there would be bilateral uh, you know meetings uh, high level diplomatic engagements so to some extent uh, those meetings will de escalate the issue now after that we need to talk about the conflu uh, conflict avoidance mechanisms so what conflict avoidance mechanisms we can adopt in this regard for example strengthening the existing conflict avoidance mechanisms so whatever mechanisms we have to avoid the conflicts we need to strengthen those uh, mechanisms along the border such as hotlines joint military exercises 
so they will certainly reduce the unintended military confrontations so if we have uh, you know regular military exercises regular hotlines at the line of actual control so they could help us reduce the misunderstanding between the forces will also help us de escalate the situation okay so they will further reduce the military confrontations between india and china so further we need to implement the confidence building measures between both the countries and between the forces of both the countries so they will certainly enhance the trust and transparency in the uh, bilateral uh, relations so apart from that we need to uh, you know focus on people to people ties the cultural exchanges we have a common culture and people to people ties actually strengthen the relations between india and china so however it seems like china has adopted more confrontationist attitude towards india rather than india's posture or india's at attitude towards china and after that the economic engagement and trade balance is also another important pillar in the relations between india and china so as i have already told you that china is the second largest uh, trading partner for india so therefore we need to focus on enhancing the economic cooperation and trade relations while addressing the concerns related to the trade imbalance right now in political science this uh, can this is very near to the functionalist approach so addressing different issues piece by piece so therefore the economic engagement and trade balance is very important with respect to india uh, china relations so uh, you know we need to explore the avenues for mutual benefit so we need to uh, you know explore the areas where we have mutual advantage where we have mutual benefit and those areas like infrastructure development joint ventures promote sustainable economic growth and renewable energy technology cooperation so these are the major areas where india and china can cooperate on so apart from that uh, you know the china pakistan economic corridor china has not paid any heed to india's concerns with respect to violation of sovereignty so that is also issue and you know chinese presence in india's neighborhood that is also an issue right because of all these reasons the relations between india and china has been further deteriorating so uh, the masood azhar issue so you know in order to designate him as a un designated terrorist china has been blocking the attempt to uh, designate him as a terrorist so therefore india should carefully convey all uh, its concerns and work on resolving issues between uh, between india and china so that is very important for a fruitful uh, relation for the strengthening ties between india and china so that's all uh, about india china ties we have discussed uh, the current uh, phase of india china ties so what exactly is happening between india and china and what factors which have been negatively impacting india china relations okay so how the india china current ties or the contemporary ties will have a larger impact on regional stability and regional peace so apart from that we have also discussed the way forward so how we proceed with respect to india china relations going ahead so that's all in this session thank you so please subscribe to our youtube channel and also hit the like button thank you